Welcome back to Ender Trading on YouTube. Today's video is called eToro will be blocking new copiers of Yepe Court Bond. And I'll be going through if I would invest in Yepe and what you have to do and what you shouldn't do with copy open trades, etc. And why and how much I would invest in Yepe if I was going to copy him today. Okay, so just before we start, so the news is from December 2nd at 9 p.m. There will be no more copying of Yepe Court Bond, okay? He's hit his amount under management of 75 million. So he, he has 75 million under management, which is the limit. It used to be 100 million. The let Jane Emesis go to 100 million, but he's even over that at the moment. So Yepe Court Bond is going to be copy blocked on December 2nd at 9 p.m. And just before I go through all of that with you, I'm just going to go through some background on Yepe. So Yepe Court Bond is one of eToro's leading popular investors. He's been on eToro since 2013, and he's an average annual gain of 32%, which is really um, solid. So each year, he's been up to an average of 32%. So he started his career as a management consultant for tech companies, analyzing net wars. Okay, so this is very important when you're investing in stocks, especially with Yepe. He's a long-term investor. So he started off analyzing the net worth of a company, which is very useful when you're trading stocks. And started investing as he saw more profits in his skills and knowledge. So he moved away from that. He said that he could bring that skill that he's learned and brought it into investing. So he, he not only works for himself, he works with a network of experts, including his family and his brother works in AI. And he has a small team working for him, OK, which helped gain more insights in the stock market. And he has even got his own assistant working with him. OK, so he, he's a smart guy. His father works in politics. I think it's in European Parliament. So, yep, at Corpon, he holds um, an MSc in Finance and Strategic Management from Copenhagen Business School, okay? And his overall trading strategy, he searches for mega trends in the global market to find companies that are trading at a low price and that have potential in the future. And he, he, so he invests in the high growth companies for the future, okay? He only invests in 40 to 50 assets at a time to, to reduce his risk and diversify his portfolio. And he focuses on keeping the, the fees low for his copiers by avoiding shortage, shorting, etc. Okay, so just a little bit about Yepe here. So what you're going to have to do, if you want to copy him, you're going to have to copy him with $600, okay? So that's the minimum amount you can copy Yepe, okay? So back in June of this year, there was news that Yepe was going to be copy blocked. So I copied him, but I was trying out copying him with out open trades, okay, which I would not advise, okay. So I just put in a two hundred dollar here last June, just so I could have him copied. But the problem is with Yepe, he doesn't do that many trades. If you look at his profile, his stats here, you can see that he doesn't trade that often. He's a longer term investor, okay. If you come down the bottom here, you can see he only does three point one one trades a week so it's very important when before he gets copy blocked if you want to copy him you have to copy him with six hundred dollars if you copy him with two hundred dollars a lot of the trades won't open because if you look in his portfolio some of you can see here bitcoin and he's only started to to invest in bitcoin because and i've seen an interview uh, about a month ago the people were asking him, will he invest in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency? He didn't before, but now he started. He's opened this trade recently. So he's only opened this trade of 0.2% of his portfolio. So what does that mean? So every trade on eToro 
to open when you copy has to be at least one dollar off your 600 that you're copying so if if you'd only copied with 200 it wouldn't open the trade this 0.2 percent here so if you go to the calculator here so you, you copy with 600 okay you divide that by 100 to get one percent and then you multiply by 0.2 equals 1.2 dollars so if you copy with 600 dollars and he opens that trade of 0.2 percent you will open a trade of one dollar and 20 cents so it's over one dollar and you'd be able to open the trade but if that was 200 dollars it would be only 40 cent and it wouldn't be able to open the trade so very important that you copy with 600 and copy open trades as you can see here uh, from my experiment here, I copied with $200 in June, okay? And a lot of the trades didn't open. And I've only, since the last six months, I've only invested $19.30 of that $200. And that's because I didn't copy open trades. So that's not on Yepi's fault. And I didn't copy with $600. But before December 2nd, I'm going to close this trade and then open it again and copy open trades okay so open trades just means that you're copying all of this portfolio at with that 600 of all the percentages straight away if you don't press copy open trades it'll only open his new trades that he makes after he closes a trade etc so make sure that you're, you're copying him with 600 dollars if you copy with 200 dollars it will not work or if you if you don't copy open trades, it will not work. So about Yepe, now, if I was invested, he's 25,644 copiers at the moment. So since the news come out, he's up like 1,880 copiers, okay? So he's got like 75 million under management, and that's why he is um, he's going to be copy blocked. So 60... 0.71% profitable trades, which is very good. You can see his stats there. It's very, very good stats there, okay? So if you look at his stats here on Yepe, okay, if you had to invest 10,000 one year ago, you would have had, you would have 14,160, which is very good, okay? And then on eToro, you can compare that. So if we compare that with the NASDAQ, okay? So the NASDAQ 100, the 100 top companies in the NASDAQ here, you can see that he's following. So this is the NASDAQ here. The NASDAQ is slightly beating him, but that can change over the year. But he's not far off the NASDAQ there. It's up 49.52% and he's up 41.61% for the past year. So really so solid results there for Jeppe or Yeppe. Okay, so if you look at the stats, you can look at the stats over there. He's some really big, big years here, 140, 48% there gains. Okay, 2018 when the market was down, was only that he's only down 12%, so not too bad. At the moment, he's having a great month this month. He's up 5.98%. So re really nice risk score, really low, four, 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 four. So is max drawdown. So the most that his his portfolio dropped in one day was minus two point five eight. In a week it was minus five point six one, and over the year it was nine point seven one. So really good stats there. Okay, you can see here it's ninety three point percent stocks. So he has some ETFs to balance out the portfolio and his risk. And then he has a small amount of crypto that he's only started investing in, like Bitcoin, etc. As I said, he holds for long term, average hold in time for 11 months. Um, so you got to be careful with that. Now, would I copy him? Yes, I would. If I had how much would I copy him with? So I would copy him with 10% of my portfolio. OK, if I was going to copy do my copy trading portfolio, so like. I would copy him with 1,000. If I was investing 10,000 into eToro, I'd copy him with 1,000. I'd be happy with 10% of my portfolio. And also, there's some other traders. I'm also copying Jay Nemesis. Now, if if you could still copy Jay Nemesis, I would copy him with 2,000 of that portfolio, okay? But Yepa is a solid investor, so I would... I would recommend copying them, 
but copy about 10% of your portfolio. But that's up to you. It's not a financial advice. That's just my opinion. And if I was going to copy anyone else, I'd probably copy um, Ruby M MCA or I would also copy Camper Vans, okay? So I would spread out maybe Ruby MCA, I'd copy with 2002 if I was only doing copy trading. But um, definitely a copy at least two to five um popular investors when you're when you're copying don't put all your money into yepe okay but really solid for the long term but make sure you copy open trades because he doesn't do that many trades and if you go to his portfolio so let's just look at his portfolio here what's what's he invested so as i said he's invested in bitcoin tesla so 0.29 percent so um lots of companies here so he's really do, doing in um the platitor um so they they dropped the way down but he he bought a long time ago he's in google so a good mix of stocks here sony and you can see the percentage here okay so he's three percent in facebook let's see what the most popular most invested he is here his big investment in amazon nintendo barracks gold two points or three point seven five percent so lots of big companies there so that, that's his portfolio you can look through it at, at your own time but if you want to look at his history let's look at his history and what he's closed Okay, so for the last 30 days, he's only closed two trades. So that's what I mean. He doesn't trade that much, so you need to copy open trades, okay? So make sure you copy open trades. If you look for the last year, he's, he's only closed 40 trades, and 82.5% of them have been profitable, which has been pretty good, with a 9.5% 9, 9 9 9 profit of them 40 trades closed. Okay, so you can see all the trades that he's closed there. But so make sure you copy him before December 2nd, okay, because he's going to be copy blocked. And I would I recommend you copy them with about 10% of your portfolio if you're, if you're into copying and you want to add some popular investors or that's all you do is copy popular investors. But um, you can see here is just a few more since 2013 is the 32 percent okay uh, annual return okay and so i went through all of this he he finds analyzes potential mega trends in society technology economics and he does careful due to diligence and fundamental valuation of companies and he has good experience in that in the past okay so he, he, my goal is to continue finding new opportunities that earn significant returns for all my copiers. And yeah, so I would recommend it from the wisdom of the crowd, you know, that mo more people that are copying him the, the means that it's going to be a better decision for you to copy because a group is more intelligent than just one person to make decisions. So 25,000... Uh, 644 people are copying them so safe bet with yepe i would would um invest 10 percent. i'd be happy to invest at least 10 percent of my portfolio and then add funds as you're going along as you progress etc etc okay so i hope you enjoyed uh the video of etoro will be blocking yepe court bond please like and subscribe for more more videos on etoro and if you're new to etoro please sign up using my partner link in the description and you'll be supporting my channel okay i'll see you soon on the next video and have a great day ahead okay thanks for watching bye